welcome back. For those of you that are new here, my name is Kristen Linkford and I am a teacher in Florida and I teach pre-K and today is finally the day we have all been waiting for, moving day. It is Friday and today is literally only moving day. It's can't decorate, can't unpack, anything like that. Like I've said, they're building the school so I think they're still waiting for like a punch list of items that need to kind of get done before we can actually start unpacking on Monday. But it's still exciting because this stuff was all in a storage unit and it was going to charge me or it's going to charge me tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So I need to get it all out. My entire van is packed up and my husband's truck is packed up and we are on the way. Today's video is just going to be a empty room tour. I'm... I don't know how exciting it's gonna be because it's literally brand new and there's not gonna be anything much going on. We'll see when we walk in. It's all gonna be new and exciting. Uh, the parking lot, like we have to park up front and we just, it's all new. So a little nervous about all that, but I'm just gonna go in and you guys are gonna come with me and we're gonna see the brand new room and all the things that are already in it before I bring all of this stuff in there, which I have no idea where it's all gonna go. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. Oh my gosh i just walked in and holy cow first of all everything smells so brand new so that's super exciting second of all it's just it's beautiful let me show you okay so here is the front door i'm gonna turn around and show you what it looks like when we come in okay so those are the light switches took me a hot second to figure that out kitchen area back there's the closet we got all the pretty long windows None of this stuff is my stuff. This is all from the district, so that's fun because I have a million things too. Uh, whiteboard, smart board, whiteboard, bulletin board. These are like little carpet seats, I guess. And then storage, which I'm excited about. I didn't think we had one of those. Ah, so exciting. Okay. Anyways, like I said, the lights are here. I, you can turn on like this. If I turn this one off, it turns off those front lights. Ooh. And then this one, wow, fancy. Okay, but we're gonna keep them all on for now. Then when you walk in, you turn here, it connects to our next door. My other classroom connected in the back and our closet was up front, so that's a little different, but this actually feels more open with that. And then we have a hand washing station outside of the bathroom. Super stoked about that. There's no light in this area though. I was just thinking that. I guess when our lights are on, it's fine. And then a water bottle, I was, or not water bottle, a water fountain. I was hoping I had a water bottle thing, but maybe they're gonna bring that back. And then, as you can see, like I said, the punch list items, they still have to paint certain stuff. Whoa, look at this tile. And this is the bathroom, little baby toilet, automatic lights, love that. No shower, which I'm stoked about because I never use the shower anyways. All right, turn you guys back around. Then we can come here. We got our sink, cabinets. Looks like these are locked. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. Completely empty. Don't worry, I will fill them very soon. I got drawers galore. Yes. More cabinets, more cabinets. Mini fridge. Super clean. A freezer that probably actually works. That's exciting. We'll have to unpack this, but it's definitely on. Ooh, these bottom ones are locked, but that's locked. Okay. Then we have stainless steel oven. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, this is cleaner than my oven at home, clearly. Brand new. Wow. They haven't put in the plug for the range yet, though, so still waiting on that. And look at this fan settings like this is literally nicer than my own kitchen at home all right i'm tripping over these brand new tricycles how cute are they and somebody put them together for me so nice and two sizes too like the three-year-olds and then the older ones i love that all right here's the closet one shelf <laughs> might need to buy more of those then the washer and dryer hopefully we can squeeze these closer together and like put them off to the side or have like a shelf here and a shelf here for the classroom. It also connects next door. Okay, and then, so when this is closed, 
we have this little corner nook right here. All right, and then these floor to ceiling windows. That's gonna be amazing to open. This is cute, little probably teacher cart to put the laptop on and your materials right up by the front. Okay, phone. These are the tables. They actually look a lot bigger online and I was kind of worried, but they're definitely too tall. They said that they should be okay. I wonder if we lower it all the way to the ground, if that'll be low enough, but they're definitely ordering smaller chairs. These are so fun. Ooh. And then we got a teacher desk, also with a podium though. That's interesting. And then, let's see if I can go around here. Cute little high chair, cube chairs. Oh yes, a sensory bin, an actual sensory bin. That stands up, random little family. Hopefully we have other ethnicities. A drying rack, pretty sure I brought the drying rack from the other school so I might need to return that. Um, what are these? Oh, puzzles. The kitchen sink, the stove, more cube chairs, a CD player, toys. Uh, oh, is this on wheels? Yes, I think it's on wheels. Okay, more toys. This looks like the same, yeah, computer table that I had before. This is a couch. Oh my God, so cute. A guided reading table. I like that it has the bigger opening so I can get closer. I don't know why there's two of them. <laughs> we'll work on that. More chairs. This is, oh, it's hard to really see. Let's, oh, I can't take it out, but it's one of those chairs. It's like a blue chair. We'll see it later, later when we unpack stuff. Another shelf, teacher whiteboard thing. Oh my gosh, so fun. Headphones, that's amazing. We did not have headphones. Okay, and then over here, we have Toys. Oh, how cute! Magic shapes. Oh my gosh. What are these? Oh, so cute. Paint. More puzzles. These are interesting. These, I guess, because there's no rug. I wonder if we're getting a rug. These are literally wobble seats and they are massive. And there's a million of them. Another shelf. Another shelf. A crib. Let's see what's in here. And I skipped over the smart board, which is super exciting. I mean, super, super excited. Now I have to bring in all of my stuff, so that'll be fun. And then we'll recap, hopefully, before we leave about a plan of where I'm gonna put all my stuff. Okay, all moved in. Honestly, it's a ton of stuff, but it doesn't feel that crowded. I think the room might be a little bit bigger and we have some ideas about where we're gonna put certain things, but we won't really know until Monday. So let me just give you a little bit of a view of all my stuff and you guys will probably be like, uh, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. And I'm like, oh, it's not that much, it's fine. Okay, so you guys saw the beginning, but all of my stuff is pretty much in 
the middle here. The temporary plan is possible sensory bin here. We're thinking the kitchen in this corner, blocks, stuff like that there. Kind of similar to what my room was last year. But we want to use that bulletin board to do like kitchen-y bulletin board stuff. And then the rug obviously will go in the middle. Over here we're thinking in the back corner, uh, computers, library area, maybe something else, who knows. Um, then we'll, there's three tables, so maybe one, two, three tables. And then possibly the guided reading table kind of here. I don't know. I've seen that before in kindergarten classrooms, so I don't know how I'll like it, but that's the idea. We'll see. We'll see how it really figures all out. The teacher desk is going to be a problem because I don't feel like we have room for that, but maybe they'll let us get rid of some things. And then those wobble seats, like I just don't see us using that many of them, so we'll kind of have to find a spot for that. We're thinking about putting this big storage shelf, both me and the classroom next door, in the closet on the back wall. This one... Not a clue yet. Maybe over there. This one up front, there's some on the front and on the back. We're thinking that there's pegs. Maybe those could be used for cubbies, just for small things. And then maybe there's like an empty space here for something to go, but maybe whatever we put there can have like lunch boxes on top or water bottles or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But overall, super exciting, beautiful school. Beautiful classroom, lots of construction still going on, but it's gonna be fine, it's all gonna get done. And oh, Monday will be the real day. We're gonna get a lot of stuff moved around. Fingers crossed, let's hope. Anyways, as usual, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and that notification bell, and I will see you very soon for our day one. Decorate, bye.